we're always going to have the reactive side, but how can we try to break this cycle? How can we get in front of it? Why does it continue to be okay for a victim who has died under the hands of domestic violence to have their own son imprisoned for beating their own mother? We're looking towards a grant and to get those resources, whether it's an outreach, not only in the school districts, of having <coughs> guidelines, of having that point person, because I already have uh, someone set up. It's not about reinventing the wheel. It's, it's a crime stoppers at the school district that they have on campus and work with them with these guidelines on trying to break the cycle of change where it's no longer okay to within your culture have domestic violence or if it's part of your life.